What is going on, everybody? It is WrestleMania weekend. We've already seen NXT last night, tonight, Hall of Fame, and tomorrow, a very, very long evening of WrestleMania. It just keeps growing each year. And I've seen where they cut some of these cards down. Well, I shouldn't say cut it down, but they pushed more into the uh, pre-show this year for matches. But let's get into what everybody wants to really talk about. And let's talk about some of the matches. And I'll give you who I think is pretty much going to win it. What I'm saying is not like 100% accurate. I don't have ends because we know this stuff can change very last minute. All right. So we got the Raw Tag Team Champions, Revival vs. Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder. I'm going right with Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder. I just have a funny feeling with this that Hawkins is going to finally get a win and everything and they're going to push the belts. I still see the Revival getting off and going to uh, AEW on this, but again, this is just my view of it all. You guys are free to comment in the comments section below. We can discuss it, see what happens tomorrow night. You never, never do know. Alright, we already know Alexa Bliss is hosting it. I do have a funny feeling that if she is still cleared, she's going to be in a woman's battle world because they need some more star power. But more into that here in a little bit. Cruiserweight Championship. I really don't follow uh, the Cruiserweights that much. I don't see Murphy winning. I think Nice will end up winning the championship because they need to have some... Belts changing hands and more into that a little bit later. Women's Battle Royal. Wow. SmackDown, they really did them in by <laughs> putting that belt onto Charlotte Flair. I, I see what they did for the main event. I completely get it and everything. But you kind of lost a little bit of it. I know you have to condense down the card and everything. But... What I'm looking at, they had to do it for a couple reasons. One, for the main event. And two, because you had to have somebody in there, a.k.a. Asuka, to win it. And if you ever look back in history, people would do these small little favors for Vince McMahon, get rewarded, and I see the reward being Asuka winning the ba uh, Women's Battle Royal. That, that's how I see that playing down. The only exception to this is if somehow Alexa Bliss would throw herself into the match. I don't know if she will or not. That would be my only, probably secondary guess if she would throw herself in a match. But I honestly see Asuka winning this. She did pretty much a job for Charlotte to get the belt to boost up WrestleMania. She's not going in there as champion. And, you know, her... Her longevity and company, I just don't see it happening. She's just not very favored whenever you start from a fan base. But that's pretty much with that. The Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Everybody I've talked to thinks Strowman's going to win. I just don't think it. I think something's going to happen to where he is not going to he'll, he'll get thrown out. <coughs> Excuse me altogether. I I'm thinking there might be a few surprise entries, and if you go here onto this, let me see if it'll click over for us. It does. So, when you start looking down here, look at all the names. There's one name on here that stands out. No, it's not the Hardys. It's right here, Ali. Why would we want Ali to win the Andre Giant Battle Royal? Well, very simple. He missed his championship opportunity. Kofi Kingston then excelled with all the fans. Oops, sorry guys. It scrolled down on me there. And in his way, he's going to be rewarded for that. And I hate using the word rewarded, but that's how I see it happening. Because he was supposed to have this push. He was supposed to have a great match against Daniel Bryant and all that. And it just never, ever happened. So I see him being the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal winner. 
And we do know most people in one East, their careers have not really gone anywhere. All right. SmackDown Tag Team Championship. I am going to say out of this, the Usos retain their belts. I just see them holding them a little bit longer. I don't know where the contracts are because I haven't been following it in about the past couple weeks on to it. But I see them doing it right there. They keep their titles. Kurt Angle and Baron Corbin. What a match for his farewell match. The more and more I talk to people, the more and more disappointing this is. Everybody wanted John Cena. So here, here's why I see this match playing out. If Baron Corbin wrestles, he loses. Kurt Angle's going to win either way. Now, I don't know after Raw if they're going to say, oh, Corbin's ankle snapped, he can't wrestle, and John Cena comes down. If it does turn into a Cena versus Angle, what the fans want to see, I still see them giving Angle the push for his last match and him winning. All right. Up next, the Intercontinental Championship. This is a very hard, really, what, when you look into it. They've given Finn Balor a big push, maybe because they think he's going to go to AEW. I have no idea. But I see Finn Balor winning via disqualification, I'm going to go with here. Um, there's no special stipulations to this match. I thought maybe there would be. But I see him winning via disqualification because of some interference or something like that. Very easy pick here. United States Championship. Samoa Joe versus Rey Mysterio. Joe's keeping the belt. I know a lot of people are fans of Rey Mysterio. But Joe keeps the belt. It'll be a pretty decent contest. And it'll give a little bit of flair to... Uh, probably the beginning of the show, I would say. They probably open up with tag team and then they'll move to this here. But I think it'll be an overall decent match. But I see Joe keeping it. This one here, AJ Styles versus Randy Orton. And everybody knows I talk good about AJ Styles. I think he is a great worker. I just think, I don't know if he signed up for his new contract or not. We all know it was ending here soon. He has not really been pushed like he was when he was champion. I think this time around, Randy Orton beats AJ Styles in the ring. One, two, three. I would like to see AJ Styles win just to keep giving him the push he deserves. But I see Randy Orton, one of Vince's favorites, taking over and pinning him. Women's Fatal four-way tag team championship. This one here is a little bit tough to call on to it. I was sitting there thinking about this one. Um, there's a lot of different avenues they can go with this. I'm looking at the Iconics to win a tag team championship. Just because they've been a tag team since they came in. And they're annoying on the mic and people hate them. It's time to put the belts on a hill. That's where I see it. I don't see anybody else really coming uh, for it. I think they'll somehow come in with a real quick roll-up or something and pin probably like Banks or something. Roman Reigns and Drew McIntyre. No matter how much I'd love to see Drew McIntyre win against Roman Reigns, and I pray this is not a squash match that ruins Drew McIntyre because we know how this stuff goes with Roman Reigns being the new golden boy like John Cena was. He's going to win, but I really hope they make this into a good match and they make Drew McIntyre look strong into it. But Roman Reigns wins this. Shane McMahon versus The Miz. Wow, they're really stretching here. I'm going to go with The Miz, and I'm going to say assist to his dad, uh, beating Shane. It's usually just the way it goes. Shane's been putting people over at WrestleMania for years now. So, maybe it gives uh, The Miz a little bit of a push here. Sorry, guys. Dog just walked in here. She's over here panting away. 
Triple H versus Batista, no holds barred match. Ah, uh, no matter how I look at this, these guys just keep getting older and older. It makes me start thinking about my age. I'm going to say Dave Batista because this is probably the one thing that he agreed to so he could headline the Hall of Fame next year. If Triple H would come out on top, it pushes something to SummerSlam, but these guys are really prone to injury and stuff now, so I'm going to go Batista. This is probably the biggest shock to a lot of people, the Universal Championship. Brock Lesnar versus Seth Rollins. I know the big push has always been Seth Rollins is going to beat the Beast. Brock ain't going nowhere. I know people don't want to see the belt on him. It's been a long, long time. They just keep it on the guy. Brock Lesnar beats Seth Rollins is my prediction on to that. I just don't see any other way around. I think this is going to be like how last year's WrestleMania where everybody thought Nakamura was going to win and everything else. And, you know, and it was in the title matches, and it was just a shock at the end. Just like, you know, Charlotte Flair's match last year was a shock. I think it's just going to be at the end, Brock Lesnar beats Seth Rollins. Oh, the match that everybody's been trying to figure out, Daniel Bryan versus Kofi Kingston. I've seen it both ways. Daniel Bryan beats Kofi Kingston because Big E interferes and it tears apart the New Day and some other feud goes and they want to push Daniel Bryan to SummerSlam. Then you start thinking, you know, this goes back in the same situation where Daniel Bryan was years ago, you know, and everybody wanted him to win and finally after Vince started opening his eyes up what the people wanted, they let him go ahead and win the belt even though it wasn't that long he held it for afterwards. I'm going to say... With this, Kofi Kingston wins the championship. And I don't think there's going to be a heel turn at WrestleMania for Big E or anybody. I think it'll come on Monday Night Raw. That way it gives them a little something-something for uh, Raw. The main event, first time ever, women's championship winner takes it all. Try to make sure it's something pretty good. Guys, no matter how you look at this matchup, I don't think the winner even knows who they're going to be until right before. I think they're going to have alternate endings. Um, Rousey wants to start a family, have kids. Do you put everything on Charlotte Flair? I mean, she's been pretty much what Vince wanted for the whole business, and I mean, she's carried it. Or do you put it on Becky Lynch, who has the big fan population, even after trying to be a heel? Here's what I see happening. And this is really, really far fetched. But you got to kick something at the end of WrestleMania off. It's got to draw the fans back in because it's a long pay per view. And if you're going to have people sit for like seven to nine hours, you probably want Becky Lynch to win this belt at the end. I don't, if they have Ronda Rousey get pinned, I would be shocked. But I see Becky pinning Charlotte, for, winning both belts. Probably gives Rousey an excuse to leave and start her family and she'll come back a year or two years down the road, whatever it may be, if she wants. But I'm going to make a bold prediction here. At the end, after she wins the belts, Stone Cold Steve Austin's going to come walking out and they're going to drink beer together in the ring. That's my bold prediction. Alright guys, I don't want to take up a whole lot of time talking about WrestleMania. Um, see how we do with the predictions afterwards. i like to hear what you guys have to think in the comments section below. It's the first time I'm actually doing one of these. Normally it's just a lot of chit chat. That we do back and forth, but a lot of good matches. Um, a lot of them are just going to drug out. You know, somebody was talking, I, well, I forgot to hit this up with Kurt Angle. You know, we haven't seen that at all? The Undertaker. <laughs> Could The Undertaker make a presence at WrestleMania? I don't know. Could it be Angle versus The Undertaker? Will Angle stay against Baron Corbin, or will John Cena come out? Or can we see another Cena vs. Undertaker that's just going to happen on spot? 
Well, I guess the only way we're going to find out, we tune in tomorrow for WrestleMania. Thank you, everybody, for listening to my predictions and some chit-chat onto it. Feel free to blow the comments section up. I'll respond back. I'd like to see what everybody thinks about WrestleMania. Where do you guys see it going? Um, because this is what they planned for all year, and we know there's change after change after change the whole way through. But that's the end for old Mr. Extreme here. I will see you guys after the showcase of Immortals, where legends are made. Talk to y'all later.